Hi, my name is Brooke Schreier Gans. Um, I am a genealogist, I am a technologist, I'm a web developer, I'm the second place winner in the 2012 Roots Tech Developer Challenge, and I am the president and founder of a new nonprofit called Reclaim the Records. Reclaim the Records works to get records released from government agencies, archives, and libraries around the country where they have been locked away from people wanting to use them. We use state freedom of information laws and soon to use federal FOIA to get copies of these records released back to the public for the first time ever. Some of these records were only available on site, some were never available in the first place. We use these laws to make copies of these records available to the public so we can use them for our research. We have had incredible success over the past two years. We have gotten records out of New York City, New York State, New Jersey, and we have a lawsuit pending in Missouri. We have won the New York City Marriage Index for their marriage licenses. We started out with 1908 through 1929 from the New York City, Mar New York City Municipal Archives. We followed that up in 2016 with a second lawsuit against the New York City Clerk's Office for the 1930 to 1995 Marriage Index. We have gotten records out of New Jersey for their birth, marriage, and death index for the early 20th century. No lawsuit required, just friendly talk with the executive director of the archives. We have gotten the first ever public copies on the internet of the New York State Death Index from 1880 to 1956. We are currently involved in a lawsuit in Missouri to open up their first ever copy of the birth index after 1910 and the death index after 1966. We have many other projects planned in areas around the country. We have many other smaller scale projects that have gone very well without any legal wrangling needed. What we wanna do is teach people at RootsTech about how we did this and how you can do it too that freedom of information laws are a great way to discover more about your genealogy. They are a really useful tool that was not being well used by genealogists. Um, many genealogists don't realize that file, filing a state freedom of information request is completely free. If you need to make an appeal, also completely free. We will tell people about how they can use resources uh, available for the state they're interested in, what sort of resources there are, how to correctly file one of these requests, and what to do if you get stonewalled by a state government agency or archive, which has happened to us. <laughs> for example, if you would like to, for example, requ request some records from a New York state agency, a city clerk's office, something like that, you can write uh, a letter to the person who is what they call the FOIL officer. You can often find out who the FOIL officer is for the agency you're interested in by looking at the Contact Us page on the state website. Um, you write a letter to that officer and you explain, hi, my name is, I'm writing under, cite the name of your state's freedom of information law. In your state, it might be listed as a sunshine law, a public records law. Utah has the best law. It's called GRAMA, G-R-A-M-A. It's an acronym. And you say, I would like a copy of the such and such records. Give a start date and an end date so that they can have it as specific as possible and have as few possibilities to mess up as possible and you explain what you wanted, just very shortly, why you want it very quickly. You may need to say in some states, I am an individual, I am not a for-profit entity. Fine, stick that sentence in. And at the, end of this, at the end of this letter, say something like, I am willing to pay you for copies of these records. I will pay up to such and such amount. I would like them to be presented in such and such a format. Now, sometimes if the records you want are in paper format, you may be allowed to say, I would prefer them in scans. If the records you want are only available in, say, microfilm, which has happened to us, you may be forced to get copies of microfilm sent to your house. You then sign your letter and send it off to the FOIL officer in charge of your agency. Now, only a government agency or a government archive or library can be Got, can have these uh, freedom of information laws applied to them. You can't use this technique for the diocese, you can't use it for a private organization, but if you're looking for genealogical records that ended up in the hands of the government that were originally government records too, you may be able to use this technique. And as you can tell, we've had incredible success using it all around the country and are expanding our work. What we'd like to do at Roots Tech is not just tell our story of how we got started, why we got started, um, but how any individual genealogist who is looking for records about a specific person and is getting stonewalled by an agency or a library or an archive is really able to challenge these, these rules, that, these restrictions on access to public records and get copies released to the public and put them online for free use. Um, just because they may be tricky to access does not mean they're legally unable to be accessed. 
So I hope to be able to tell you more about this in person at Roots Tech. Hope to see you all in Utah.